Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I'm going to run one of Professor Gaglorich's class examples here on the TM4C microcontroller. Okay, so the first thing I did is I got his vector.hpp uh, from the internet, and now I'm just going to do a little bit of editing on this so this will compile. All right, so uh, apparently uh, the, oh, I need to define the standard type. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, use the standard ints. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm, uh, I can make it print, uh, but it's going to be faster for me to show you this example if I remove all the print statements. Okay, so I'm going to take all the print statements and, and comment them out. Okay, right, comment, comment comment. Okay, that's probably it. Okay. Uh, the next thing I did is over in main, uh, what I did is I uh, copied uh, his vector dot C, uh, CPP uh, into the main program here because his had a main on it. All right. And then I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I'm going to uh, work out a way for this to uh, compile. And so I'm going to first rename uh, the lab 8 main to something that's not main, okay, and then uh, I'm not using the IO stream, so I'll get rid of it, and then one by one, again, just like in the header file, I am going to remove the print statements just so I can get this running quickly. Okay, Z, um, remove the print statement, uh, remove the print statement, remove the print statement, print statement. Okay, so all I did essentially here is... Um, uh, remove the print statements. Uh, and let's see if it compiles. All right, let's check. Uh, all right, just a warning, uh, apparently. All right, you should never ignore warnings. It's my, you got my word for it. Uh, apparently, he only got partway through, and uh, the sum was never used. Okay, um, that don't matter. All right, so uh, in this particular example, I'm, uh, I'm going to run on the simulator. Uh, it don't matter. You can run it on the board if you want. Okay, there's no I.O. anyway. So I built it. I debug. And uh, uh, in this case here, uh, he is going to create these vectors dynamically. And so I can show you down here in the stack window that this size uh, is garbage. Okay. Uh, but once I invoke it, okay, once it's created, okay, once it's created, it'll have a size of 10 right there, okay? And there will be the elements of that vector. Uh, the similarly, if I look at vector 2, vector 2 doesn't have a size yet, uh, and uh, but when I, uh, when I run its constructor here, v2, uh, you'll see that it has size of 20, all right? Uh, and now vector v3, okay? Uh, the vector v3, uh, is now um, step over is now created okay so in that way uh, uh, you can can debug C++ just like we debug C and one of the things you remembered is um, on this particular debugger uh, debugging things in uh, um, debugging things in the, in the um, on the stack is a little bit harder you can see it only showed me the first element of that vector uh, but nevertheless, uh, there's not really much magic associated with C++, uh, other than C++ itself, uh, to run it here on the TM4C123. All right, so uh, as always, uh, the purpose of C++ is to allow you to add more abstraction, uh, to do things which uh, encapsulate, um, so that you learn and you develop and you test. And once it's done, you can put it in a ball, put it in a box, uh, define the interfaces, and then use it uh, in other applications. All right, so enjoy.